All right, let's continue on by just making new slides here. We have four different types of volcanoes. So I'm just going to keep adding these caption ones here. Uh, cinder cones is the first one, and then we have composite volcanoes. And another one. Shield volcanoes, and then another one here. That should do it for us. We have lava. Okay, so uh, we have now, uh, I guess that's my sixth slide here. So that's looking really good. And then let's add another one, a heading here. So I'm just going to go with the new one, section heading. And this is going to be interesting facts. Facts, there we go. So interesting facts. Okay, are you caught up with me? Remember, just pause the video if you need to catch up. That's what we have now. We have seven slides. And then let's now do um, our interesting facts. We're not going to have any text in these. So it looks to me, let me just count on my little sheet here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five interesting facts. I'm just going to go ahead and add five blank. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so there's our five. Uh, that we will just put just images in. Okay, we're almost done. Um, let's go ahead now and add a section heading, which is uh, questions with a question mark. Because I always like to put that at the end of my presentations. And I don't know if you're allowing a question and answers at the end of your presentation. Sometimes it's just you present and then you go sit down. But if you do have questions, go ahead and put that slide up. That will cue your audience that they will then know they can raise their hands and start asking questions. And then I, I like to finish with a another section heading, which is just a nice thank you. And now we're, we're kind of done there. Now your teacher will want to make sure that you've added photo credits, okay? Most teachers really require that you have um, citation for all the photos. So we're just gonna say photos used. Did you see the, which one? I, I was talking when I selected it, but I selected this one here, title and body. That's the one I selected, okay? When I made a new one, so photos used. And then as we use them, we're going to add a list here of the photos used, okay? So that kind of completes uh, this training video. And the next one, we're going to start getting the photos. I'm going to show you the Mr. Flick method of getting photos and then crediting our photos that were used in our presentation. So I'll see you in another uh, second or two.